that's the thing that like George saying uh, it still will forever be the the cultural chasm between this side of the pond and America because you saying Chris Evans still to me is that there's a radio DJ who used to be a TV show yeah. called Chris Evans who like we me and John would have grown up with and he's yeah this like. He's a pretty ugly guy. <laughs> yeah. He's in radio. He was, like like Ron Jeremy ugly? He was he used to, not that ugly. The thing is though, okay. he used to date Billy Piper and everyone was like, Why the hell is she going out with him? Like, oh, that guy? Yeah, yeah, he's like way older than her. Yeah, well. yeah. And apparently they're broken up, but they're still like best friends and stuff. Which is a good I guess it's a nice, healthy relationship and stuff, but like so every time people say like, "Oh, handsome like Chris Evans," my mind still automatically goes to <laughs> yeah. Chris Evans. Oh, you mean Marvel Chris Evans? Okay, that yeah, yeah that Chris Evans. No, we we go back <clears throat> to watching The Big Breakfast mm. in the nineties. Uh, uh, when was it on? Seven a.m. <laughs> I always felt really bad too because it wasn't Jenny Slate was hooked up with Marvel Chris Evans, and I think she publicly stated that she felt like he was too good looking for her and stuff. What? <laughs> and it's just like cause Jenny gorgeous. Slate is, is is beautiful, but like she's kind of beautiful in a sort of like not in the chiseled out of marble way that yeah, Chris Evans yeah. is. Mm-hmm. So I think she felt, I think she publicly stated like, oh yeah, I just felt a bit out of my depth and stuff with, with, compared to this guy, which is ho- is a horrible conceit, but like you know apparently that's the way she felt. But uh, I suppose when everyone's fawning over him in real life and on the internet, it probably would be a little bit. Uh, well, as far as I I'm think aware, that would be challenging for your self esteem. Yeah, it would be hard to date someone. It would be hard to date Chris Evans. <laughs> yeah, I well, agree. Give it a shot, George, and let us know. Let yeah, us know. Report I'll get back. back to you on that. I'll let you know if he's a gentle lover or if he's. <laughs> oh, we want all the gossip. Come yeah, on. yeah. I think if I, if I met Chris Evans and he wasn't literally like the, the nicest man in the world, I think I'd be disappointed because he comes oh, across like he's a really nice guy. He, he, <laughs> well, former guest of the show, Gaz Flint, you know, was an extra on Captain America and yeah. said he he didn't talk to him personally as such, but he said he came across very nice. Like mm. he came and ate uh, his lunch with all of the the extras and stuff. Mm. He didn't go oh, off to a personal trailer and that. See that is, that's always a nice sign. You're sort of like I'm I'm. I'm like, we're all just working here. I mean, come yeah. on. I'm, I'm making more than you, but whatever. We're all working. Hey, uh, you're a team. And plus, uh, you know, Chris Evans hired Gaz personally. Like, well, his name was on the hiring slip. <laughs> Gaz still has it somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that, that means done. he hired him. You know, he, he interviewed and all that sort of stuff. It's what I tell. Ev- it's what he tells everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>